Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in this beautiful world. See Moochie back there? She's sleepy today. Anyway, today we have another great story for you. It's about a special name. What is your name? What is so special about your name? Who named you? And why did they give you that name? Well, this is a story about a little girl and her very long name, Alma, and how she got her name by Juana Martinez Neal. Alma is curious about her long name, so Daddy tells his little girl her big story. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. Look at her long name. Oh, my. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course me. She was the one who taught me how to read. <gasps> I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am. Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint every day. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now, tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own 
story. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. And here she is with her history book. And the author has written a note to the reader and I just want to ask the two questions. What is the story of your name? Do you know the story of your name? If you don't know, you can ask someone in your family to tell you why they named you that name. And what story would you like to tell? All right, thank you so much for watching and listening and reading along with me. You are so special and so is your name. Thank you again, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in this beautiful world. Goodbye!